Here we go. What's up, you guys? Hi, we're live. Welcome back. Good morning, Monday Cinema Club. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, guys. My name is Alice. Hi, I'm um, for Chinese friends. Yes. 大家好，我叫巴哈古力。For my Uyghur fans, Yashim Slavs, Kinoku Bumsa Kaginawa, Karshi Alamas. Thank you. For Americans. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Hey, everyone else, what's up? I'm Dante Bosco. Welcome. What's up? How you doing, Pedro? Uh, I see. What's up, Casey? One five two three dog. What's going on, Popsicle JPEG? What's going on? Hi, everyone. Um, uh, just it's just Daytona. How are y'all doing? Welcome to this Monday Cinema Club for people joining us for the first time on、uh, Monday Cinema Clubs. Me and Alice, we're actors, filmmakers, producers, and directors, and we. Uh, we've been watching a lot of movies in COVID, like a lot of people at home watching Netflix or Amazon、mm -hmm. or whatever you guys be watching. So we decided to do a movie club, something like a book club, but we just talk about movies every week, movies we've been watching, and have you guys help vote on movies to watch,、uh, cinema classics, classics as it would be. Yeah.、Um, and last week it was、uh, Robin Williams themed, and the the the、uh, the two films to choose between were two classics: Good Morning Vietnam and The World According to Garp. And Good Morning Vietnam. One, so today we're talking all about Good Morning Vietnam.、Um, we have VIP guests, right? Who are the yes,、VIP? we do have a VIP. You can、guest. always、uh, we bring people in after me and Alice talk about we, what we like about the movie or whatnot or don't like, and then we bring guests in.、Um, thank you so much, Annie. Love you too. And、um, but we have people that that we can set up to begin and end the show. So beginning the show is going to be who?、Um, our VIP guest is. First one, it's going to be Sophie. No, no, she's the last one.、Um, okay, Sophie's. 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 Sophie is. <laughs> Sophie, she's gonna be last one. The first one is gonna be Finn. 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 Yeah, Finn. So stay tuned. You guys gonna. So good morning,、our... and and you can always vote for next week. Next week is a back to school theme because it is September, and the movies you can choose between are Grease and, and The Breakfast Club. Breakfast so. Club. Both amazing films.、Uh, hope you guys.、Uh, if you haven't seen the first time, go watch it. If you haven't seen it,、uh, hopefully these are films that you guys will love, and we can have a great conversation about it. But this week is Good Morning Vietnam. Good morning, yes, good Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Who wants to start? You want to start? Want me to start? You start. I'll start. Well, I loved this movie.、Um, of course you do. Look, it was Robin Williams themed. Robin Williams is someone near and dear to my heart. For people that know that I worked with Robin when I was a kid in the movie Hook, where he played Peter Pan and I was Rufio. And、uh, and I, Robin Williams just holds a special place in my heart, and I think he holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts out there.、Mm -hmm. So it was so beautiful to see Robin on screen again. There's a lot of caught a lot of feels, just kind of being in awe of his performance, and to see him so young,、uh, it was really really beautiful. The story is there's a lot of layers in the story、mm -hmm. as far as the film itself, directed by Barry Levinson,、mm -hmm. amazing amazing director.、Yeah. So many great films. I mean, some of the films that stand out to me are. Of course, Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman, another、uh, actor I, I got to work with in Hook, Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise, and then a movie that we all grew up with. Me and my brothers did a lot of scenes from it. Is a movie called Diner, which again these are Barry Levinson movies that we might get to later on during movie club. But he's one of those directors that you should watch his films because he's such an amazing, amazing filmmaker、um, and tells these really great stories.、Mm -hmm. This being one of them, and this、uh, this film all around the Vietnam、uh, before it was actually Vietnam Wars, like the、yeah. Vietnam conflict. And for the soldiers, a lot of heart in the film, a lot of just beautiful, beautiful work in the film. Forrest Whitaker in the film also doing an amazing, amazing performance.、Mm -hmm. um, I actually know his little brother,、uh, Damon, and I actually met Forrest a few times. And he's such a gentle giant, soft-spoken guy. And to see that his performance is so vulnerable and you know, it's really、yeah. beautiful, beautiful performance. Wherever I see Forrest on screen, he also is someone that really. Resonates with me、um, forever, but the film itself was so beautiful. It made me miss Asia. Right before this whole pandemic hit and the COVID, I had come from Vietnam for the first time, and、um, I fell in love with Vietnam. So to see some of these images, it's like I can feel, I can smell the air, I can see the food. I can, the food was amazing, and the people, and because I'm Filipino, also Southeast Asia、uh, reminds me a lot of Southeast Asia. Tropical Asia. The、yeah. tropical, the jungle Asians. That's jungle. I want to say tropical, but if you want to put on the jungle Asians, we're the Asian, jungle Asians. Well, sure.、Uh, so, really beautiful film and the story. Just see his story. I think it was very un.、Um, 
You know, there's a lot of stories where you have Americans going into other countries, especially during war and, and being ugly Americans. And there's some aspects of showing us being that the soldiers and doing things, but also this particular story of, uh, uh, what's his name in the movie? Uh, Arthur? Cor uh, Corbier? Cor Cor uh, something like that. I can't remember the name. Who did you try to say? Uh, Robin Williams' name. He, it's really beautiful scenes. You know, trying to meet a girl. Adriana. Uh, Adrian. Oh yeah, Adrian. 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 And um, and trying to meet a girl, trying to do good. You know, with what he's doing in uh, as a DJ. He's for people that didn't watch the film, he plays this American DJ uh, on the radio during the radio the Vietnam station. conflict. And there's some political stuff in there that they're they're commenting on, but also just uh, the whole world of military is a mystical place for me. I mean, I come from a military family. My my grandfather's on both sides were military, mm, uh, Navy, and Army. My father was Navy. All my uncles were Air Force. So I get it, but I didn't. I, even though I grew up with it around me, it wasn't. It's not a world that I never went to the military. Um, so it's interesting to see kind of that culture unfold mm -hmm. on screen, um, all the politics within that workspace, uh, and then this this tour de force performance by Amazing. Robin Williams. I mean. Once he gets on the mic and just he gets to be Robin, you just see him come out um, through his performance, and he's so fast and so witty and so funny, mm -hmm. and and things he says is so poignant, and, and you know it's go by so fast. It goes by so fast. Sometimes you gotta think about what he said, and then how, yeah, it's really like speaks really fast. Yeah, but even how but funny it is, funny, yeah. but then it also hits home and he hits some like really mm -hmm. poignant things that he's trying to expressed to you mm -hmm. so it's, it was really beautiful to see that and experience mm -hmm. that and um i thought it was great i, I love the film i really there's so much more to talk about but what do you what, how'd you feel i feel the same way i mean this is my first time watching this film and then the whole i was like good morning vietnam I, i'm like assuming maybe it's going to talk about it like whole uh vietnam war like kind of like complicated but i will i surprise while i'm watching this movie it's like whole comedy characteristic and each character has a rich um, distinguished um, character and everybody is like uh, it's it's funny everyone is charming and it's remarkable even though it's uh, it's one of the uh, soldiers always and he is um, Robin Williams his ass even though he is funny to me, like in my heart, I'm a funny guy. Like he believe he's a oh, funny Bruno guy. Kirby, Bruno 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 yeah, Kirby, and it's so it's great like it's, it's great story, simple story, but it's a rich character. So all the characters in this story, it's like it's really remarkable and it's easy to remember, and everybody is distinguished from each other, and it is it is fun and entertaining to watching the film, and I feel like. It's it's been a while we haven't watched this kind of like this type of the film like it's even though it's war but it's genre yeah it's but great it's to see like a, and a, it's a war charming. film that's based in 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 the characters characters yeah it's it's really it's really like rare like this type of the film like if people watching a war film you can't you really having hard time to remember those soldiers really having hard time to remember who is who who is that because everybody is wearing uniform yeah right and i'm not trying to say all white people look like same no i just saying like soldiers, <laughs> soldiers soldiers so you're supposed a, to be a group of people. one of a group of people but yeah, it's good to see people. in the group of people and then, but people this film and it's surprisingly it's really easy to remember and really easy easy to follow and it really easy to like entertain and it's really relaxing it's just like a like a family movie afternoon like at night time like you just grab a, like popcorn or a cup of so tea that, whatever that, it's just easy to watch you know right. that being and said what, what's your favorite moment or scene in the film um being or, or sad remind, remind, oh, wow. what was it i have a, there's so many great moments in the film but what the, was the all greatest? everything it's a great moment i have a two great moment which is it's really like like I feel that's that's like I want to be in that um, environment. First, it's when they when they all the master shots, the view pictures showing Sunday. up, and the background of a what a wonderful day that music well, plays. Yeah. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful world. What, what a wonderful world. And then and then and music, the music was amazing. Music all the music beautiful. from that era. I'm gonna give you a huge credit beyond this director and this music composer who did the soundtrack. Well, if you watch Barry Levinson films, he is so about the music. It's it so is so great. And it's, I in mean, his time era, I think sense. he does a lot of movies from the era he grew up. I, I believe this is something that he kind of grew up in this kind of era. I know Diana is the same way. In the, the music he uses and the stories he tells, he's very connected to it. 
and it's beautiful. I mean, James Brown, like yeah. all these, I mean, all these other music that he's using during this war time yeah. is, is great. I always yeah. thought being a DJ would be a, a very cool job. You know, like, I, I mean, I, I still think, like, being a DJ would be cool. Like, yeah. play some cool music and it's just but your voice over the hard, radio waves. You know, like, sometimes it's, like, you want to be a DJ and you love the music, but doesn't mean you have this, like, same taste with it. Well, yeah, I think you got to tell people, you know, people kind of have to buy into your taste and your, you know, the ride that you're going to take them on. Yeah. Um, and I, I, wouldn't be a D, I wouldn't be a DJ like Robin Williams' movie. He's so crazy and funny doing imitations. I exactly. couldn't do that, but I would just, exactly. I would be like that voice in the middle and I'd be like yo just I want to play some slow jazz <laughs> <laughs> and then what's your other favorite other favorite is when uh, Robin Williamson said well I want to be with you and he <laughs> He went to the countryside and see this girl, what kind of background she has, what kind of environment. She grew up and a whole family eating, eating, um, yeah. uh, eating food. It's such and a classic like, tradition uh, to take huge. a girl out. He's trying to take this girl out and the brother sets up the date. And when he goes to the date, literally the whole family's on the date with them. Yeah. Mom, and dad, a movie uncle, ticket, aunt, you gotta have kids. Buy, move. 13 movie, yeah, it's like 13 people ticket. rolling around with him in the market, and he was trying to have this date, this courtship. And, and it's a sweet. They do a, a so thing like sweet. that in the Philippines too. They say it's called courting. You have to court the girl, and he was like trying to do that. Yeah, it's comedy. It's it's sweet and it's so like vulnerable and it's like so true that emotion. And then she, when they're in the, when they're in the standing on the huge land. It's so traditional. It's, it's representable of the Asian tropical Asia. Right. And then they're talking, and she said, "I can't be with you. You can't, you can't, you can be with friend with my brother, but I can't be with you." Like, I don't know why, but I really, really want to know what is her reason, like why she can't be with well, this her man. brother. Ends up being part of the VC. Part of the VC, a... so that's why. I mean, that's the one reason. But what of her as an individual, as a woman? She just thought they were two different worlds. I thought. I want to give her like. Like I want to see her voice more. Like I want to see. Like I can't feel. I, 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 I can tell. Like she has a feelings. I'm pretty sure she has a feelings to that character, that person too. Right. But why she rejected? And it's like it's so heartbreaking, but it's beautiful. It was like a beautiful love story, even though it wasn't really love. They never connected. They never hook up in the movie or connect. Does which have to be which up? I appreciate too, because there's so many movies where it's like the soldier the ugly American kind of goes there taking advantage of the you know of the, of the native or whatever the native people and uh -huh. uh, this is not that movie was like uh, the juxtaposition of that yeah. um I, but my favorite moment in the movie hmm. is when you know they're going back him and Forrest Whitaker and they run to all the troops before they're about to go into the war part oh, of it yeah, and he's in the jeep and he's kind of doing he, he's reluctant he doesn't want to go back on the radio mm -hmm. And he's kind of like, because he was part of a bombing and he saw deaths happen and, and, and he got he got taken off his post for a while. And then mm -hmm. they're trying to get him to come back on the radio because all these guys love him. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. But then he gets stuck in traffic with like a few trucks of soldiers going into like the war area. And then Forrest kind of like so nice. tells him like, this is the guy. He's like a celebrity in that world. Mm -hmm. And he kind of does like a live show for the guys mm -hmm. and shows what kind of morale morale mm -hmm. he can kind of bring up. And that's actually, that's Robin. Like mm -hmm. Robin was that guy on the set on Hook that was like, kept the morale of everybody going mm -hmm. all throughout the shoot. I mean, making movies is a lot of fun, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of long hours too. We're like 12 hour days, 14 hour days, 16 hour days sometimes. And in a big set, you know, you're talking about hundreds of people and someone like Robin Williams, who's like the big star on the set, knows everybody's names, joking with everybody, keeping the morale of the set going through mm -hmm. months and months of shooting, good times, mm -hmm. bad times, good shooting days, bad shooting days. And uh, to see that in him again was really great. And then just as artists, you know, a lot of times, mm -hmm. like he's a DJ in the movie, we're mm -hmm. artists in Hollywood, we, we, we make movies and te television shows and mm -hmm. we have a certain amount of celebrity right, here, we have a certain amount of celebrity in China. And, and and the thing about it is, it's not like the most important thing in the world, but at the same token, there are moments where it is important to people to kind of like bring a little something. And you can kind of see in that moment, like him as as being this guy, this personality that, uh, again, it's like not the most important job in the world, but at the same time, it has some importance to people in moments he sees he's about to send these guys off to war and if mm -hmm. they can just make them laugh just a little bit mm -hmm. and brighten up their days just a little bit 
it's you know maybe just something for the moment and and I feel like that in our career sometimes as an actor as a life lifetime actor a lifer in this industry it's like we, we make movies and we're telling stories and um sometimes you can argue that's not you know the most important job in the world it's not like we're necessarily saving lives like a doctor or, mm-hmm. or something like that but that the other times like certain stories mean certain things to people certain mm-hmm. characters mean something things certain things to people and um and help them get through some moments whether they be big or small and uh and it's like you, you there is honor in 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 the work that we do yeah the most uh, like interesting dialogue he said it's in that in that scene he said um he asked to new york girl like oh you guys is from new york like you guys like buddies and then and the first you guys are like, going to neighborhood and grab a coffee and the next day all you remember is and you ended up in this war so that's do you remember that line? yeah of course and then that kind of like a like ooh, it's just like a remarkable thing and you you look like you sit back and you look at the situation and the army soldiers they are like a human they are human like they left their home the one thing is just like they want to grab a coffee and the other day just wake up in the war and they are like young they don't know what's going on I and, know. and like I know. william he i can't said, imagine i mean shout out to all the service to men and women out there for, yeah. and all the countries that go out and you know have to uh be the military force military for their countries force. um it's a hard gig and it's it, you know it could be sad i see a lot of people there war sad and things yes. like that and so uh you know it's this is a beautiful story to see some of the the, the guys in in the in the thick of it and mm-hmm. um outside of all the politics going on just politics. the people and the people and, and the each little other like things they're going through yeah they're going through and then he said happy it's like, 16th birthday nero Oh, is it somebody's birthday? Yeah, I just I'm reading the chat a little as we go. Oh, we keep going. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I forgot what it was. I don't say. know. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. To, I'm no just reading up. Thank you guys so much, VHS Angel, for watching. Big D I C K Energy Six Ninety. What's up? Uh, crazy name, crazy name. But I get it. Sometimes you gotta have that energy. Um, <laughs> Richie O Four. What's up? Thank you guys so much for watching. Um. Do what you, you want to bring in? people Let's in? bring some people yeah. in. Okay. We'll talk more about it. But um, this is Good Morning Vietnam for people just tuning in. Yeah, this if is you watch Monday Cinema film. Club. If you watch the oh, if you watch the film, the first person we're bringing in is Finn. But if you watch the film, hashtag Robin. Hashtag Robin. One time for Robin Williams. Hashtag Robin. We're going to see if we can bring Finn in. Um, and then we'll bring other people in. Okay. What's, the, what's Finn's username? Um, let me see. Uh, right here, insane blogger. Um, yep. Let's see. Yo, Calvertrain's in the house. I see you. I'm gonna try to get you in here, Thomas. Hello. Hi, Finn. Hi, Finn. Hey. How you doing? Hang on a second. Can you guys see me? Yeah, I can't see. see. Okay, my phone's messing up. It's okay. Whatever. <laughs> I can't oh, see God. myself. But that's Where are you probably better. From again? I'm calling in from Virginia. So. Virginia, that's right, Virginia. How's yeah. how's life? Did you get to watch the movie this week? Yeah, I did. Um, it's been a while since I've watched a Robin Williams film, so it, yeah, it was nice to see see him and hear his voice again. It's yeah. good feels, right? It's so yeah. refreshing and sad. I mean, it was, yeah, it was good and it was sad because, you know, I I loved Robin Williams when I was a kid and later in high school, I was going through a lot of like shitty stuff and his like I started watching his stand up routines during high school. Right. And they got me through a lot of like really tough shit. And That's so amazing. I'm yeah, sure you, but, you would, know. Lo- would love to hear that. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you know, I I can't even imagine you knew him personally, so it's yeah. like. But, anyways, I love Robin. He's great, and I I enjoy. Um, I love how much, like I I just love his comedy. I love how it, it's just like so fast. It's like I've never I've never seen someone who can improv like that, because um, you know most of his stuff. Or at least from what I've heard, I don't. You know him, so you might know the right, answer right, right. more. But um, to me, it's like wow. It's just I don't know how someone can do that. Yeah, it's like a stream of consciousness thing. It feels like he has sometimes where he just kind of yeah. processes everything going on around around him at the yeah. one time. And it, but he's also so smart and so well read and so well movie. Like he knows so many things that as it processes through his mind, he's able to drop just crazy knowledge at, at a machine gun pace yeah. um polite way yeah Implied. it looks yeah. like you're like ready to like you're like looking like you're wearing army greens like you're like in the mode for oh. for, <laughs> for the talk today 
<laughs> no. Was it your first time uh, seeing Good Morning Vietnam? Have you seen it before? Um, no, I've not seen Good Morning Vietnam. I did not mean to wear army green. <laughs> I didn't need to realize I was. Um, what is your actually, favorite scene? So it's your first time yeah. you've seen the movie. That's great. Yeah. Um, so I'll start with what I thought of the movie first, and I'll yeah, talk about it. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I didn't, with Robin Williams films, I never know what to expect, which isn't a bad thing. You know, it's a great thing. It's right. just like, whenever I watch a Robin Williams film, it usually starts out as like a comedy. It's really funny, and it's really great. But then, like, near the middle of the movie, he really starts digging deep into, like, uh, like different philosophies and different politics. And I thought that was really cool, especially with, like, something like the Vietnam conflict. Because it's not something I know a whole lot about. I mean, I know it was really fucking bad. But that's, <laughs> yeah. about, that's about all I know about it. So it was cool to see him um, kind of delve into and to delve into these characters, not just the ones he was playing, but the the supporting actors and right. um, all the characters around him, like especially like the soldiers and the kid yeah. who ended up being the DC. Because um, you know, it, it portrays them as humans. And I think that's really important, especially for soldiers. Like my stepdad and all, like a lot of my siblings are in the military right now. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> and we actually, we have a blacksmithing forge. We run for vets with PTSD. Oh, so, wow. yeah. So it's really, it was neat to see them like, you know, I don't, no, just, I'm not going to say that war is great because it's not. It sucks. It's horrible. Um, but, you know, I think it's important to see, you know, vets as human beings. And it's important to see, you know, everybody who's involved in a conflict like that as a human first. Because it, you know, it, it helps you maybe understand and be more empathetic toward people who are going through this. Totally. You know, yeah. And they didn't even yeah. know PTSD, PTSD was back then. Yeah. Just like yeah, shell shocked or yeah, you're shell shocked by. Yeah, you know, and it's, no, these people are like suffering. I can only imagine yeah. being in life and death situations on a daily basis, and yeah. what how that affects yeah. you on a, on yeah. the way out. Uh, and then, like you said, people. It's like even like to see the different personalities within the rank of command around a, a radio station, and even like the commanding colonel awesome. or general yeah. and the drill sergeants underneath them. They're like, dude, it's you're just mean. Like that one, he seems like I I thought you were just crazy and I was protecting you, but then I realized you're just you're just mean you're just a yeah. mean person and i'm going to transfer you out of here and this is just a radio station dude but it goes uh, to like could, the little yeah. wars that we all have at our workplaces yeah. and in our friend yeah. groups that are like life and death that we make why are we making all this trouble over like because something it, that's like small it's not even the war this is like a radio station yeah of, you know well, people like, love to love to people like intend to love to use their uh authority like their power if they have a yeah. little bit of the power, they want to use it. Yeah. They want to feel validated. They want to like, God. yeah. Honestly, yeah. when I saw that character, like as soon as he walked in, I was like, man, this guy's got to fucking stick so far up his ass. <laughs> yeah. like, and this he's is so going to be that. He plays the character, character so good. Right, he's a great actor. And we all yeah. own that guy, you know, when yeah. some you know, person yeah. that became uh, whatever, yeah. could become, become a doorman at the bar or yeah. Yeah. became a police officer or became a soldier. You're like, you're an, why are you such an asshole? Like, yeah. What the fuck is going on? Not that they're all assholes. There's also great guys, but there's like those other guys that get attracted to those authoritative positions. Yeah. And, and like, like, you know, I, the I get it. The bullies in high school. Yeah. Like, it's like, because, well, when you give someone that has, a, that is like that, I'm not going to say stick up your ass again, but it's like, <laughs> you know, it's, especially in a, a situ- like in a, in a place like war in a, in a gig, like a war, you know, yeah. you give someone like that power, you know, they're going to, they're going to run with it and they're going to run really far and it's going to be yeah. hard to stop them. And, and the fact that is they're suffering from PTSD too. So it, yeah. it's just going to bring yeah. out a lot of our, no, uh, totally. you know, our things, everyone, I, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. what's one of your favorite parts in the movie, favorite scenes or anything? One of, well, the first scene that I really liked was this, like the the live performance he kind of impromptu ended up giving on the street because I, I honestly felt like that was less his character and that was more Robin Williams. Yeah, like that that's was, what I felt too. That was him talking to people. But and I think I think one of the coolest but also one of the saddest things about watching that is like um, seeing that, you know, he, he was sad after that. And I'm like, man, you know, I don't, because Robin Williams was, I, I don't know everything about it, but I know he was, not always a happy person and yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's no. like when i saw that i was like damn you can see it in his eyes and there's a lot i mean a lot of artists like that a lot of stand-up comedians are like that the yeah. most, most sensitive people and they're like modern day philosophers and mm-hmm. it's the flip side of making everybody laugh but there's also this yeah. dark you know thing for them yeah so. yeah but i, I love seeing that 
Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, you know, I, I, mean, I love saying that. Keep going. Yeah, it was a good Sorry. thing. No, it's okay. I, I tend to talk a lot too, so I'm glad that sometimes you interrupt. <laughs> um, but uh, so my second, or well, just the second scene that I really liked was when he figured out that that kid was the VC and he confronts him in like this little back alleyway. And, like that was so painful. So intense. Seen. I wasn't able to get yeah. out because that guy was really good too. When he, he cut to Actually, him, he's just full of emotion. And, and you, you understand, like, yeah, you got some foreigners in your country, you know, like, all your people are dead. Like, I get it, dude. Like, there's no right and wrong in a war. There's, like, all these horrible gray areas, you know? Yeah. And it was just like, man, that was... His name is I started, Juan. I, Juan, yeah. Juan. I started crying during that scene, actually. I was like, man, this hurts. Yeah. Because, you know, is. I see... I, I understand why, you know, Robin Williams' character is mad, but I understand why this kid is just so viscerally upset and hurt and scared. And I'm like, man, he's just a child. He's, like, what, 14, maybe? Yeah. Not even... Yeah. Yeah. Maximum so, 14, 15. Yeah. And, and he performed it so well. It's such a beautiful, beautiful yeah. movie scene. I love that yeah. how the movie shows the two sides of the the um, this story, like the, telling the story in a two different point of view. Like, I was like, explaining, please, please give him an explanation why he why he is a spy, why he is, uh, I mean, yeah. not a spy, but why he is running away. Right. Why he's Part working that really good from BC. Whatever, or, yeah. BC thing. And yeah. then he, that, the way director shows it, like, give him all emotional like person i love my country like you think we're 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 killing people like vietnam is like killing the army like u.s soldiers but how many people my family dead my my sister dead this mm -hmm. dead my mother dead like it is hard yeah and you mm -hmm. even though that person in front like opinion that the person you're talking to that's the uh, opposite side and then he's uh, he's uh, he's your enemy but he saved him multiple times. That's what I'm saying. There's no, That's a human of him. Life is not black and white. There's so many things yeah. that happen. It's like we, we, they, everybody wants to put stuff in black and white boxes, but the reality is not really. There's yeah. so many levels. And like something, you know, I can't even imagine. You know, this kid grew up in a war zone, like <laughs> via, and it's like I can't like. So there's being a soldier, right? But then there's like you grew up in that. Like that's like, not. I'm not even a soldier. I didn't. I didn't sign up for this. This is where I live. Yeah. These are my yeah. home. And that's gotta be tough. It's crazy. I remember mm -hmm. we were talking about sending people off to war. I was in Hawaii shooting something, um, and I was in this this bases like I think the Air Force or Army bases yeah. in Hawaii. It's the Air and I'm hanging out with these soldiers right at, on, in in Oahu, and we're like kind of they they recognize me, and so came to a restaurant next to you know, I'm having drinks with these guys, and they're young. They're like 21, Super 22, young. and they're partying oh, pretty hard, like, drinking. They're doing some other stuff that I'm like, hey man, y'all gotta slow down a little bit. You know, they're doing <laughs> a lot of things. And then they're like, hey, man, we're all getting shipped off to Afghanistan next weekend. Like, this is our last weekend in town. And I was like, oh, no. my face dropped. You know, I was like, what? Yeah. And there was like four guys like, yeah, we're going to Afghanistan like next week. And I'm like, you yo, I, I didn't want to say yeah. that, but obviously that's in the yeah, conversation. Yeah, that's what's coming. Maybe this is our last And basically it's like, keep going, go hard. I mean, I get it. You guys go yeah. hard as you want. Like, next round's on me. Like, Thank you it's for your just, service. Like, what are you going to say to him? I mean, I felt like Robin Williams at that point, like, just yeah. I'm like a celebrity. What do I do? And having drinks. We're having a good time. And then I'm like, the reality is that you guys are going to go out to endanger your lives and endanger the lives of others. Yeah. And yeah. it's not, there's no black and white. I'm just like, have a good time, man. Let's, let, next round's on me. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, they're, yeah, they're like, you being so. They're so young. They're chill. They're like, they're chill, I remember they're I, young, I, yeah, I, I started young. working. I was working with um, my parents' black, like blacksmithing forge, and we did some filming at one of the bases <laughs> up in Virginia. Sorry, that's my dog barking. <laughs> okay, he likes the uh, She's she's oh, she. a baby. Yeah, she's a baby. She's like ten pounds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. So I ended up working with some soldiers when I was at the base, and I saw some. Sorry, she is so. <laughs> I saw some of these kids, and they were like. I looked at them like, you guys are high schoolers. I'm like, I'm older than you, and yeah. you're in the army. And they're, and you know, I, I didn't know what to say. Yeah. Like, I honestly didn't know what to say. Sorry, I'm going to cover up the mic yeah. so you can't hear. Uh, we're going to let you go. We're going to let you go. Finn, thank you so much for calling <laughs> thank in. You. Shout yeah. out to Virginia. Thank you. For, for rolling with us. Have a good day. All right, you too. Bye. Bye thank you. Now. That was Finn. So, look, we're opening it up. Um, 
come roll with us. If you watch the movie, hashtag Robin. If you watch Good Morning Vietnam this week, we want to talk about the film. We want to talk to you. Hashtag Robin right Robin. now. And send a request in so we can find you easily. So let's see. I see somebody. Hold on a second. Uh, this was one, right? Mm, I don't know. I think so. Oh, yeah. I think so. I can't see my brother like that. Let's see. I think Chris... I'm trying to get Chris in there. I saw a, a wall. A wall. Hello, Chris. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. I'm doing very well. Who are you calling in from? Um, so I'm from Houston, Texas. Shout, uh, out, shout out to Tejas. Tejas. <laughs> I miss Texas. I miss the, uh, what I miss most is the Tex-Mex and the queso. That queso. I go out there for the queso alone. Well, I'm vegan, so like hashtag can't relate. <laughs> okay, well, vegan case over you then. I'm, I'm not vegan. I'm just uh, joking. But a uh, confession to make: um, I haven't watched the movie, but 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 um, my theater. I, I watched a clip of it just now, and oh my gosh, um, it's. First off, I saw one clip where uh, Robin Williams is just being himself, just like, Good morning, Vietnam! Yeah, so classic. I literally love that scene. Like, literally, it's just him being himself. And it, it's just the whole anatomy of him. It's just, like, his aura. If I were there, I could just tell you right now, like, he would be my best friend. Right, right. He just like, he has a magnetism that you're just drawn to kind of, like, listen, talk, hang out with him. And he's one of those guys that is just a gem of a person. When you did get to actually mm -hmm. meet him and talk to him, he was so genuine and such such a lovely person. So that's always good to know. You know, so you don't want to meet your hero sometimes, but he's one of those guys that he doesn't let you down. Yeah. And my my first um, glimpse of Robin Williams was um, was Night of the Museum. And oh yeah, I love that movie. It, like that movie has me like. That's like my childhood movie right there because it's like if if all if all the Gen Z people know who's in this chat right now, y'all guys know that Five Nights at Freddy's was inspired by Night of the Museum. So don't even lie. Really? Um, I didn't yeah. know that. That's cool. Well, I like that I game too. That Hopefully. Uh except for the part that they try to kill you and I hate that. But um yes. but, uh just Night of the Museum was literally my favorite movie growing up. And just Robin R Williams, man, being Theodore Roosevelt. I can't even talk right now. Okay. Uh, but, you know, just acting, e even if he's acting like different people, there's, there's something about Robin Williams that just makes the person that he's playing just himself. Like the genie in yeah. Aladdin. Like nobody can replace that. And He is the genie. That he is he, magical. He has really 10 times the energy of anybody else in the room, and it's effortless. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah. And I think for me, um, if like, like I said before, um, if I were there in the room where it happened, um, <laughs> hashtag uh, Hamilton reference, yeah. Um, but yeah. If, if I were in the room where it happened, I, I, I'd literally just be like, he, he, he Okay, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm embarrassing. It's okay, Chris. It's okay, it's Chris. Fine. It's okay, Chris. You have a cute smile, by the way. <laughs> He's gonna I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, like, every time I get on these lives with famous people such as you, uh, like, people, people, people say, like, oh, my God, you're so cute. And I'm like, thank you, I guess. That's good. They're, they're, that's a pretty good adjective. They're, you know, uh, you can do worse. Accept that compliment. Cute is good. Cute is good. Hey, ladies, um, hit my hey, DM. Hey, holla at your boy. <laughs> um, um, but, yeah, but besides that, for him being not not only such a great actor, but, like, if he, if he were in, which I'm pretty sure he did theater, like, 99.9% .9 of the time. Yeah, for sure. But if I were to see him in a stage right now, his stage presence would be so compelling that it would literally draw the audience, not to the main character, but to Robin himself. And right. that that's what's really captivating. About and Robin's him. definitely, you know, he was known for like popping into improv places, just on this, on, you know, just for, as a surprise to go watch mm -hmm. young uh, actors act and young actors improv and jump on stage and, and improv with them. And 
uh, all the whole improv community around LA loved that about him from like Groundlings to uh, UCB up by Citizens Brigade. He's been known to like pop in there. So he's a lovely guy. Chris, man, thank you so much for calling thank in. Thank you for calling. Thank you. And okay. I, thank oh, you. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I just want to say to you, uh, Prince Zuko, I'll hail the king. Yes. Um, um, just you inspire me just like as a voice actor and somebody who knows like the arts, like dancing. Yes, I saw that interview that you did with those those people. Hey, thank you. Um, but <laughs> as a singer, as a singer and somewhat of a stage presenter, I don't know. I don't know what you call that. But um, but I, I just want to say thank you. And you well, know, thank you. Good luck. Good luck on the journey. I know you're a fellow, you know, thespian theater person like myself. So good luck on the journey. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye. Let's get some more people in here. Let's get some more people in. Here. I saw some. Let's see what's saw going some on other folks up in thing. here. Before you pulling next person. Oh yeah, how's the voting going? Voting. Let me check the voting. But please, guys, don't forget to vote movie for next week, uh, between Greece and the Breakfast Club. So. So go to go to the so DM. Who's far, winning? Right the Breakfast Club is winning by twenty. Uh, twenty votes. So you can go. Want Greece for the Breakfast Club? We got another person coming in right now. Uh, maybe. Connecting. Emperor Suzanne. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Welcome to the stream. What's your name? Thank you. Your name is Suzanne. Can you hear me? Hi, yeah, how are you doing? Where are you calling in from? Uh, Florida. 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 Very cool. Shout out to Florida. Were you able to watch the movie this week? Um, no, but I, I remember it a, a long time ago. Oh, but, cool. Um, I Tell just. Me, what, what um, your, your thoughts on the film? You have any thoughts or memories of your favorite scenes in the movie or what it meant to you? Um, just that um, uh, I appreciate all the soldiers that have gone over to fight the wars for us. And um, just a big shout out to everyone, yes. you know, in that field. Right. Shout out to the military. Thank you guys You're for right. all, your, all the service out there. That's amazing. And um, any thought, any thoughts on Robin Williams as one of your favorites or anything? Yes, uh, Robin Williams was a uh, was a big part of my life. He was so funny. Um, I loved Aladdin. Aladdin oh, yeah. was my <laughs> Aladdin is my favorite movie. Well, That's awesome. nice. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Thank you for calling in. Shout out to Florida. Cheers. Take You're care. welcome. Peace. 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 <laughs> Dad, you threw a peace sign on the way out. <laughs> peace. Shout out to some man. <laughs> like, uh, out. Let's bring it. Let's bring. Oh, let's see. Look, Calvatrine's up in here. Calvatrine won the hashtag. Robin, if you watch the movie this week, you want to say something about the film. We'll bring some more people in here as we go along. The essence of time. Thank you for watching. Plover, Ooh, thank you for watching. Calvatrine, Thomas, man? Arkansas. What's going on? <laughs> I hope y'all are ready for disappointment because my girls aren't with me today. So. No, no oh, Iris is not there. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> We, she's at, we did a, uh, we did Violet's first, uh, her first birthday pictures today. So oh. we didn't want Iris there because she's like, all wants all the attention. So That's can't what, uh, have it. it. She's over to Grandma's house. Uh, Violet sleeping. So it's just me. So sorry, everyone. It's all yeah. good. Talk to us. What did you think about? <laughs> bye bye. What did you think about? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Alice. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, <laughs> you know, on sidetrack on that note, Alice is, has a sister. She's a younger sister. So you have two girls. She lived mm -hmm. that experience. You, you know, you have your hand, your hands full ahead of you there, Thomas. Oh, I'm, I, I'm I so like ready. For I didn't it. like my sister when I was little. But when you grew up, you right. like, now when we grow up, like we're separated, we live in the two different countries. Like now we appreciate like. Gotcha. So we actually had, uh, we had Iris pick out uh, a birthday present for Violet and she wanted to get her the same like little bunny toy yeah. that she had, That's but we nice. got her a different color. And so she knows it's Violet's, but she wants to hold both of them of because then the bunnies are together because the bunnies are sisters and won't let Violet ever have it. And we're like, great, this is going it's super well. It's her present, so far. but it's actually for me. I like exactly. That. Yeah. I like I like this is cool. This is hers, but I get it. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> So, um, what do you think? Did you watch the movie? You know, about yeah, watch the movie. Uh, the Vietnam for us. Yeah, so one, a type of movie that I really don't enjoy too much are dramas, just because I, I don't not like having like, not enough fantasy and fighting in them. Yeah, it's it's so it's it's so hard for me to like really get in. It's a big reason I don't like Game, Game of Thrones. Is another reason I just don't like really dramatic. 
films really. Yeah, don't look at me like that, Alice. I know you're giving me the little. She's a big little, Game of Thrones person. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, but I thought this had a really amazing combination of comedy and drama in it, yeah. um, while also using war as the theme is really, really impressive to pull yeah. off and to and yeah. to make it There's such a good comedy movie. and such a good drama at the same time seems like mm -hmm. very impossible to pull off. But yeah. I mean, Robin like carried the film so well; it's it's mm -hmm. crazy. Um, you know, my there's a lot of parts about. Vietnam specifically, that's not really taught a lot in America because, you know, we don't want to know about truth things that happen. Yeah. It um, wasn't one of our most shining moments as far as right, yeah. America. Which, my dad's a Vietnam vet. My dad was in Vietnam. My, man, my grandpa is too. So, yeah, it's uh, something they don't really talk about a lot. And that's interesting because that movie touches on that, how there's things that they're telling him that he needs to tell people. And then he's like, no, you can't, you got to tell them the truth or these other things are like. It's interesting, like you see like those like news is like filtered by some people, like soldiers, whatever. Well, it, was it, was a, mm -hmm. it was a government radio station. So they government just, radio station. Those yeah. news are filtered by those government people. And then now we can look at it like what kind, what type of the news, like what news we should like rely on. It's confusing. It's right. also confusing. So confusing right like. What is the sources? What what is the reliable sources? Like radio? We're what confusing. what sources we're confused as the citizens? But also mm -hmm. I, with the uh, you know they kept calling it the Vietnam conflict. You like mm -hmm. conflict. Right. They don't want to upgrade to a war. Like this is a Vietnam right. conflict. Which again we're as way before our time, so we don't understand all the politics around the war. But I think they're like pointing at certain aspects that are interesting. You know. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Um, the on, on top of that, you know, the actual comedy of his performances that Robin pulled off, mm -hmm. you know, his improv is the best out oh, there. No. I don't know if anyone even close to rivaling his, his improv. Which, I know. You, it's know like, you don't I, know what was written, what wasn't written. And sometimes, you just, <laughs> if you have, I mean, he's a one of a kind person. And there's a lot of Absolutely. Artists, just want to like jump in and be that person. You're like, like you may work up to that, but it's like he's a master at, at that. He's not even trying. It's like it just kind of effortlessly comes to one, one, like, oh. one thing I think is so interesting about all of his characters is, you know, there's, you have, I don't know what the terms are for it, but he's, is it a character actor or, you know, there's certain characters that play the same character in every yeah. single movie. And there's other characters that play completely off the wall right, things. Right, right, right. Robin has this really interesting kind of synergy between the two where every single character is, that's absolutely a Robin Williams character, but they're all very different, very different. you know? <laughs> And so that's something that he was unique in that way. That's something that he pulled off in this movie that I know I know a couple little trivia facts about the movie. Try that, this one. Uh, this one. That that you know eight um you know the the original DJ that you know that everything was based on. Yeah. They didn't actually meet the whole time in production because yeah. they didn't want Robin to kind of chameleon his way onto his kind of persona. Yeah. They're like, yeah, no, you do it the Robin true. way. Yeah. And I'm wondering if he would have met them if it would have been that successful or not. Because he would have been I didn't maybe know this trying was too hard. Based on a true story. Based on a true story. I see the guy's yeah. name is um, here. What's his name? His name is Adrian. Adrian, Adrian yes. That's Adrian. actually his name. Real Good Morning uh, Vietnam DJ. It's a real good morning um, yeah. DJ. Yeah. Inspired for the Robin Williams. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he's even said that like about half the film is actually accurate. None of the other characters are, are real. Like, he's, yeah, he's not, real, but not, all the other yeah. characters are all fictional. Yeah, it's not real, um, yes. But he was saying, like, you know, but I could, you could tell me a character, and I could, name, I could name you, like, five people that I knew from when I was over there that are just yeah. like that character, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting take on letting Robin do his thing, even though it's based on a real person, not letting him meet that real person, and just maybe he can probably listen to some of the broadcasts to get yeah. some of the feel for it, but that's it. You know, then he just did his thing. So um, and he's I think so that's the reason. So character, like as actors, you have a more space and more flexibility to to um, express yourself in your way, like in a natural, organic way. If Robin Williamson, he if he met this person, he probably like subconsciously yeah. probably just ha learn what is his body language, how well, he talks, and it's a lot of trust talking. between director and lead actor. Lead I mean, actor, yes. When if you look at Barry Levinson and Robin Williams relationship they've done they end up doing so many, several yes. films later on they do yeah. toys together they do 10 men together i think there's another film they do together so 
obviously they had, they had a great relationship and, and they knew each other pretty well to kind of trust because there's a lot of trust on the on the director's side that the actors would be able to do the character without meeting the guy right. there's a lot of trust on the actor's side like you you don't want me to meet this guy you think what i'm doing is you know good enough for what what you want in the film and confidence and yeah. trust so obviously yeah. they, had, they had a good relationship because they worked together many times yeah and that and that's what makes good movies so whenever they get that that relationship right you have yeah. gold like this so exactly. it's just great well thomas man thank you so, for calling in thank you for calling in again absolutely so oh and we girls. definitely need to do we definitely need to do greece because i was in greece in high Ooh, school so um uh, vince fontaine so not a big part oh. <laughs> Vince Fontaine, one of the movies up for next week. Vince oh, Fontaine, yeah, really? I love Daisy Peach. Yeah. Great in the movie too. That's a great, that's a great character. I had like thirty Shots seconds of blind so, life. Great. Right All right. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. Awesome. Let's uh, call. I just some talked. Before. I just taped it before you go away. I just taped. Um, what is the famous quote for that Good Morning? Uh, You're right. Vietnam. Vietnam. And then uh, this came up. What you want? <laughs> it's going to be a hot and wet. That's nice if you're the lady, but it's good if you're in the jungle. That's funny. He was that's had so many funny joke. lines. That <gasps> I was laughing. Why is that the one that's So there? we have someone to close it up. Before we put the person close that we'll bring someone oh, else last in. last person? Uh, not yet the last person. Let's bring someone else one in. If you're before. in here and you watch the movie this week, hashtag Robin right now. Send a request and we'll bring you in. So come in, come in uh, as, as it's coming in. Let's see. How you doing? Essence of time. Let me see. Let me let me see who's out there. I don't. I mean, there's a bunch of people on the request thing, so I don't know. I'm just gonna pick someone. Hashtag. I'm just gonna pick someone. Robin. Uh, you pick it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna you pick it. Pick someone's name. Oh yeah. Okay. Who's our last person? Um, Sophia. Okay, so we'll say her and then someone see? else before that. One okay. more person before that. Okay. Um. Grab whoever. I don't know. Okay, grab this. I don't know. Okay, first person. I first person on list. Okay. You know, first person on list. I don't know. Okay, let's see what's up. Please watch the movie. What if it's a little? Uh, Hi. How are you doing? Good. Uh, where are you calling in from? Uh, Redmond, Washington. What part of Washington? Redmond. Where is Red that at? That's up north, huh? That's all the way. Yeah. Is that well? What, what's up? Shout out. Your name is. Travis. Travis, nice to meet you, Travis. And, uh, how are you doing? Were you able to watch Good Morning Vietnam? No, not yet. Have you heard about the movie? You know about the movie? You like Robin Williams? Yeah, I do. Very cool. Hey, what do you want to talk about? Why do you like him? Love. Oh, you're, you're frozen, Travis. Travis, no. Come back to us, Travis. Bad connection. Travis. <laughs> Travis. Hey, Travis. <laughs> Travis. Yeah. You're a little bit frozen. You're a little bit frozen out there. Oh, yeah. Our internet's not working very well. So your it's okay. Uh, uh, well, Travis, you're a little bit breaking up. You're a little pixelated. We may be plugged later. We yeah. might come back to you later on, but shout out to you and shout out to Washington. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, we're losing, uh, we're losing Travis. We're losing Travis. But all right, you pick. All right, let me see if we can get someone. Let me see if we can get someone. I've been seeing a lot of people. I've been, I've been seeing a campaign for Nicole. We saw people campaign for Nicole. What we campaign for Nicole? Let's go campaign for Nicole. Oh, Nicole's hey, back. What's up, Nicole? How are you doing? Oh, hi, Nicole. Oh. Everybody, there's a lot of people out here trying to like say get Nicole in the ch in the chat. Well, I'm just like. Sitting out facts in the comment section. <laughs> Letting the drop drop some the facts on us right now. We ever um, watch? What you think of it? What? Give me some facts. Oh, originally, it's it's about the it's about this guy, sir, uh, Adrian Con. I forgot his name. Yeah, Cronian. Yeah. Cronian. Yeah, it's about his service during that time in the Vietnam War, but it's like loosely based. There's like some scenes that are like that are not real. Right. Like, for example, the, like, some of the people in the characters you see in the films are not actually based. Right. Not They're real. saying the only true character was, was, was Adrian Cronier. Did you, did you like the film overall? Yeah, it was, like, my first time watching it. actually made me tear at the end. Uh-huh. What'd you say? Like, uh -huh. What'd you say? <laughs> she said, you said you didn't finish the movie? 
Oh, I finished the movie. I, oh, what did you, oh, what'd you say That's about like, the end? What, what happened to the end? At the end. Oh, you cried at the end. I know. Oh. So and then I look amazing. up the facts, and it was like, damn. Yeah, I think, you know, the war films and wartime definitely makes things super uh, emotional. Know, emotional and kind of has a lot more pressure on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But also sees, it shows character in people in a lot of ways. What was one of your favorite moments or scenes in the movie? Uh, my favorite part when Adrian is like, he's like on suspension and that guy that tries to replace him, tries to be funny. And then other people are sending those bags of those bags of hate replaced. Yeah, and they're like, F beep, this beep, dude. Beep, beep. First of all, why do you do a comedy? Got the horn. Don't, don't do the comedy with the horn. His Frenchie routine. <laughs> it's so brilliant that Bruno Kirby is a brilliant actor. I, I mean, love, I Could love you me. imagine trying to do a comedy routine that you know is going to be bad? Like, this is going to be a bad comedy routine, but I'm going to do it. And then also, 100%. that's the hardest character to play. And then he has that courage and he has that that skills to play with the right. opposite like that that comparable first um, of all who would want to go after robin williams doing comedy ever like if you're at the comedy store and robin he williams, did it like, he's I'm not going, in his way like, i'm not going what? up there after him but if you go up there after him do corny jokes with a horn <laughs> marx brothers stuff uh that's uh, yeah i agree with you any other like favorite moments or anything in the movie nicole uh i just want to say another fact Give, give me some more facts. Yes. Yeah, I love the facts. Yeah, in the film, it said he got thrown out of the army and he's like, sent on the plane, but then I looked it up. I re that never happened. So, like, originally he was, he stayed and he got discharged honorably. Oh, cool. So, you got so an honorably like, discharge. Okay. Yeah, honorably discharged. That's good. I don't necessarily always know what all those things, all those things mean, but I, mm -hmm. I believe a dishonorable just, uh, discharge would be not good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He lost, he would lose his honor. But he actually kept his honor. And that's yeah. good. Go find your honor. Well, thank you, Nicole, for watching it. I'm glad that you're getting to watch movies with us and get to watch new movies. And I hope you're Don't enjoying the them, you know? Well, I have to do something since Corona. <laughs> yes, well, we're glad that you're, you're rolling with us on this. And next week, the two votes still going in. We're announcing the other thing is Grease and The Breakfast Club. And The Breakfast Club. Have you seen these movies? I've seen them. you seen both of them? Yeah. Well, so maybe you can join us next week and add some uh, information, information depending on what, what movie we're doing. Be prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Thank Bye. you. Bye. And then we're going to bring the last person, which is going to be Sophia. Sophia. I hope she's still there. She's Hopefully she's still there. Sophia, you're, you're coming in. Our last VIP guest here. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh. Sophia, what's up? Ooh. Hey, how are you guys? You're back. You're back. Thank you. Okay, I know. I told my mom this time. I said, don't call because we were cutting up my video. <laughs> okay, wait. Hold on. Obviously, you were able to see the movie. I did. Okay, sorry. Hold on. That lighting was weird. I'm going to switch it before or is it the first time seeing it? First time seeing it. Okay, and what did you think? It was really good. It was really lighthearted, which I was kind of surprised by because I was like, Oh, Vietnam, like, this is going to be it's really a heavy, sad. It's a heavy topic, but, it, yeah, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really, it was, like, very light and very, like, I don't know, surprisingly whimsical for a movie about war. Um, yeah. yeah, no, it was funny because I was talking to my boyfriend about it after I watched the movie. And I don't know, did you guys know that Robin William, like, ad-libbed everything in the yeah, radio? Yeah, 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 a lot of it. I mean, he's a supreme ad -libber, so you definitely could feel that coming out. But it was so effortless and so... Mm -hmm. I know. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, no, so it was really good. And it's like you guys discussed with a lot of people who are on here beforehand, just about how it's like a really, like they don't. Sh no. Wait, sorry, say again? Someone was trying to call me and disrupt this line too, but good. Oh, I can relate. Don't worry. <laughs> know that feeling. <laughs> um. No, it's just like, you know, you there's lots of war movies where it's like, oh, the Americans and they're fighting the bad guys and yeah. you want the Americans to win, blah, blah, blah. And it was nice to just see that, like, both people on both sides were human, you know? Yeah, and just, exactly. exactly. But not because, they're, not because they want to be there, like, killing people and fighting, but just because uh, they have to, yeah. because it's war. It's, it's war. There's good people on both sides doing bad things, and that's life, right? That's yeah. life. I know. And in that show... Yeah. That's life, Sophia. <laughs>
That's right. Just dropping mad wisdom over here. Um, something about that movie that I thought was so funny was because when I was first watching it, I didn't understand why Robin Williams that, you know, because like he comes in and he's like the whimsical, like, oh, he goes against the grain. He's like the free spirit working with the army people who are like, oh, rules and regulations. And yeah. we don't like it when you play that music. And I was like, what are they talking about? Like he's playing the Beach Boys. I know. It's so and crazy. I know my boyfriend was like, well, that's because rock and roll was like, was like controversial back in the day. Like it was, ooh, rock and roll. I know. And the other guy want to play polka. Like, I what is polka? That. I don't I know what polka is. Exactly. Uh. Oh. Whoops. Wait, hold on. Sorry, you guys broke up on me. No, I mean, um, but that's the power of, what, you know, what rock and roll was back then. Probably has the same feeling of when rap music came in and just causing all these or punk rock music came in and it's just causing all these people to worry like oh you're gonna go out there and kill people or you're gonna go out there and um worship the devil or something like that when rock and roll right. came out, or metal yeah. heavy metal came out you know and you're like yeah oh, this is a cool song, song. man how yeah. about just a cool song just relax <laughs> I just chill I and know, I but yeah, it's just the part too, like when they um they bombed the a uh, bar, and then next day the news came out, and it said that the soldier, his boss was like, "You're not supposed to report that," and he's so like, like, terrified it, and he's so sad, and at that moment, and he reported anyways because it's the truth. But why are they hiding that news? I don't. I mean, again, I don't know if we understand all the politics of that era, but I, I think it was something to do with. The, you know, the government trying Maybe to control the, because the, the control fighting, information. But they are kind of fighting for communists. But at the time, I look at the history, back, back story of the history, um, the Russians involved. Right. So, I mean, I do not understand the, that part. Like, if anybody <laughs> knows that, please. Hit us up. But I think it has something to do with, like, they were trying to, like, hide some of how bad the war was going. Well, wasn't they weren't even calling it a war. They want to call it a war. They want to call it a conflict. But you're seeing American soldiers die and people get it happen. Then all of a sudden, America's gonna figure out it's gonna be a war. It's a war, and they thought it was just like a little conflict, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Hey, if you guys know why they were censoring the news, let me know because I don't even know much about Vietnam, the Vietnam War in general. So it's all it's all a learning experience for me. Exactly. I mean, we, there's more. And I love that you're watching movies. I'm glad you watched it for the first time. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was awesome. A lot, I mean, anything with Robin Williams is good, right? Yes. So the, all the films. We watch, if you haven't watched it, watch this Robin Williams, Robin Williams film or any film with Robin Williams, you start catching the films for sure. So thank yeah. you for calling in. Yes, so what's yeah. your favorite scene? Uh, what was your favorite scene? Oh, um, well, obviously, like, all the ones that you guys touched, like, I really like the juxtaposition of, like, the war and people dying with like, Wonderful World playing in the background. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, like, the ending scene oh, with... Yeah, um, yeah. One of the, this Wonderful World is great. So good. But to be honest, actually, my favorite scene was when um, Robin Williams was, like, in that brawl. Those, like, two douchebags were... Great. Great on top. Great and he goes, he just goes, oh, I've, I've been around the world, and I've never met a man with was so tall with so many muscles with absolutely no penis and i was like yes <laughs> yes robin williams i'm still uh, we love you no. you a little bit but i love that oh. scene also i love that scene too yeah. i mean good brawl scenes are good and robin so williams in a brawl funny. scene who would have known it's so good oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mwah. beautiful beautiful diss all right thank you sophia thank you so much have a good week you too. You too. Bye. All right. So it's the end of our show. Who won for next week? Let's see. You want to do drum? Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Okay. Breakfast Club next week. So you guys will see you next week. Breakfast Club is back to school. Thank you, everybody who watched Good Morning Vietnam and everyone who came and watched with us. Uh, I love this movie. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Uh, any closing remarks? Uh... Good morning, with them. Just kidding. <laughs> and I'm I mean, I thank you. I'm so appreciative of people watching this film and a DM me. Like, like, a lot of people requesting for VIP spot, but well, we only have a two people. So, so request I mean, next week. yes, please request it. And then I'm so glad, like, I'm so happy we, we have the same experience watching this film. And just, it's something to look forward to do it together. I think it's just right. adding a lot to us. Thank you for you Thank guys. you guys so much. Have a good week.
Have good day. morning. Goodbye. Bye. Monday, seven o'clock. Bye, guys. Awesome. Good. So good.